Hi, I'm Alex Leahy. That's a cat. And uh, you're watching Speaker TV. Speech Yeah, I've always had cats growing up. Like my first cat was this black cat, not dissimilar from this guy. And his name was Bob and he was like a rescue cat and he was the best, yeah, he was awesome. So my two cats are Reggie and Lucy and they feature very heavily on my cover art and stuff. And Reggie's a British short hair and he's really fat and like, he's a bit of a dog. Like he's weird, like he kind of like will follow you around and like does what you tell him to do and like meows at you all the time and stuff. And Lucy's like, like very much a cat though. She's a Russian blue and she just like does her own thing and will come to you on her terms. Um, but yeah, they're both very cute. Yeah, I think that the title of the album, I Love You Like a Brother is yeah, really reflective of of relationships of all kinds. Like obviously there's like songs that are, you know, relevant to like romantic relationships and then the songs are more about like platonic relationship or a family based relationship or whatever. And I think that sometimes like those non-romantic relationships get lost in songwriting sometimes. And so there are a couple of like ideas that I had that I was like really, like I really wanted to write a song for my brother because I don't feel like people do it. And also it was something that I wanted to like talk about. So things like that have definitely come into play in the record, yeah. So I'm doing my tour, which starts in October. It's gonna be really good. The, f the first thing that I'm really looking forward to is the show in Sydney is on the day that the record comes out. So that'll be like a really, really, really fun day and show and rest of the night and morning. And then also playing the corner in Melbourne is like a dream come true. Like it's, it's like one of those like bucket list things as like a local musician. You know, like it's early days still, but like I was very like, humbled at times, like especially when we played in like LA and there was like a full room of people there, like that was very like, oh wow, like this is this is really cool. And you would think that maybe it would make you feel really important, but it actually makes the world feel really small and like, and very, I don't know, very nice, yeah. No one's gonna make it happen for you. Like you have to like, and that's like, whether it's like music or journalism or computer programming or real estate agent ting, like, like whatever you want to do, like you gotta do it because you really want to do it and you gotta start doing it and making it happen with no guarantee of it going anywhere because that's what you want to do. I think like the most validating thing to me was actually quitting my day job and like knowing that I had enough self-sufficiency to like go and do this and I remember like going to my mum who has always been like you know plan B plan B like you know sort of thing like and like wisely so and I remember saying to her I was like mum like I think I need to quit my job because I can't do it all and she was like yeah I think you're right and I was like yeah like that was like I never thought that she would say that I thought she was gonna be like you know like one more year or like whatever and she was like no I think you're absolutely right and I was like oh thank you